Lashify Live. My name is Jill. Today we are going to do the frosting method. So if you are new and you haven't heard of the frosting method, then stay, join, we love it, we're here for it. I am going to recreate this lash map. It is a look from the Curl Control Kit. So come join, if you're watching over on Facebook or YouTube, come join me over on our website, lashby.com, because that's where I can see your comments. And I don't wanna be here talking to myself. We have Josie here, she's gonna help moderate. And I love talking to Josie, but I wanna talk to you guys too. So come join me, lashby.com. Welcome, welcome. Let me show you before we start, let me show you everything that you need to get started, okay? So everything you need to get started comes in our control kit. If you are a brand new beginner, I'm gonna zoom, oh, okay zoomed a little bit. If you are new, you are going to start with the control kit. It gives you everything that you need. Okay. So inside your control kit right now, also right now it is $125. There are rumors that the price is going to go up. So if you've been thinking about it, take advantage of the price right now, $125, everything you need. Okay. So inside this box, you get a little pack of wandums. These go over the tips of your fuse control one. They help with um, stickiness, fusing, all that. Then you get the control kit, okay? So the control kit comes in either black or white. You're gonna customize your control kit because we don't wanna just give it to you and be like, here, figure it out. So we want it to be match your preferences. So you get either black or white for your control kit. The black control kit comes with a bronze wand. The um, white control kit comes with a holographic wand. Look how pretty she is. Okay, so inside you're getting a double-sided whisper light, clear on one side, black on the other. We are going to use that bond to do our frosting method. Then you're gonna get our patented hand tool fuse control wand. This is the foundation of the system. Then you are going to get glass. This is going to seal your lashes. And then inside your control kit, you're gonna get two lengths. You're gonna get 12 and 14. And then we're also giving you a third cartridge of lashes in the lengths of 10. So when you get the control kit, you get 10, 12, and 14, and then you choose your style from A, B, or C. So A stands for amplify. It has the thin fiber like this, soft curl, really natural. B has a thicker fiber. B looks like you're wearing like a little bit of mascara. Then we have C, which I'm wearing here today in the lengths of 10, 12, and 14. This is gonna look like your natural lashes, but look, it's got a, a stronger curl than our A. So you're getting all of this, plus you get, I don't have my samples here, but plus you get a sample of our pre-cleanse and a sample of our melt away when you purchase the control kit. And this box, don't throw it away y'all, because once you take this out, it becomes storage for your gossamers, okay? So hold on to that box. So let's jump right in. I just took off my lash map from the weekend, which I think I posted on my Instagram, at lashby.jill. It was pretty bomb. It was a new mix. It was 2B10s, a B12, D14, plushy 15, and I actually was like a huge fan of it. So we took it off because we're gonna put these on today with you guys. So uh, I did use our release to remove. So I am gonna come in with our pre-cleanse. This is our Japanese cleansing water. This is going to remove, thanks Josie, this is going to remove any residual oil, okay? So you wanna make sure that when you are applying, your lashes are clean and dry. You don't wanna apply to um, wet lashes. You don't wanna use um, something to prep the lash that's got oil or glycerin. So some people will try to prep with like a micellar water. No, 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 that's got glycerin. That's gonna cause slip. It's gonna make your application just that much, a little bit harder. Not much, but just a little. Okay, so we're gonna come in. If you don't have pre-cleanse, you're just gonna apply to fresh, clean, dry lashes right out of the shower, okay? So I've just brushed the pre-cleanse through my lashes. Now I'm gonna come in with my blow tool, push some air on here to get them dry. My blow tool is so dirty. Ah, okay, <laughs> I, don't, I just moved, I don't know where my other one is, but um, the blow tool is like the greatest add-on. It's $7 and it just speeds everything up. See how much air it pushes out versus if I'm just waiting and fanning? The blow tool is great. I'm obsessed with the blow tool. People use it to dry like their liquid liner. Okay, so. Clean, dry lashes. Let's pause and have a moment for my natural lashes. These are all of my natural lashes. One of the biggest questions that we get when someone's new is, is this gonna damage my natural lash? All of our bonds are a flexible bond, so that means that they're gonna, uh, that means that the bond's never gonna fully cure or harden, and these gossamer lashes are going to move freely with your natural lash. I've been wearing lash by every single day except for like maybe five, for five years. I've got zero lash damage. My lashes are actually a little bit longer than usual because our bonds actually contain biotin and lavandula. 
So a lot of people ask, does it damage the natural, natural lash? And the answer is no, it does not, okay? So we're gonna come in with our Black Whisper Light, and I'm going to just brush this through my natural lash, okay? We've prepped. Now the first step after prepping in the frosting method is coating every single lash with Black Whisper Light, okay? So I like to come in, I'll use the tip of the wand. You just wanna coat every single lash. When you first get your bond, it can tend to be a little bit more runny, so it's easy to get your lashes starting to clump together. So sometimes I'll use the tip of the wand, and I'm just gonna coat every single lash, okay? And see how I've got, I've created like a little clumping there. A another great add-on is our Precision Lash Comb. The Precision Lash Comb has this little sharp pointy tip on the end. Really great, let me tag it down below. Okay, there she is. Okay, really great for coming through. I'm obsessed with this tool. It's actually my favorite. Night Bond and the Precision Lash Comb are my two like add-ons. Hey, La Lashify Mick. So we're gonna come in, I'm gonna pull this through. And again, because that bond's flexible, I don't have to worry about pulling on my natural lash, but see how it just separates? Because I'm doing a lash that's like a thinner fiber and more natural, what is this song? Thinner fiber, I don't, I did today's hit music and I must not be with it. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts lately because I don't know like any of them. Um, but because I'm applying C's, they have a thinner and more natural fiber. I don't want to get clumping behind my lash, okay? So I will apply that first layer of Black Whisper Light. I'm going to come in, I'm going to use my blow tool to let it get nice and tacky. And then if I look and I'm like, you know what, I missed a lash or two, it's okay to come back in and just kind of coat any lashes that you missed. So like my inner corners, I definitely need a little bit more. Okay, so see how it's just looking like a thin coat of mascara. So with the frosting method, less is more, right? You wanna start out just by coating every lash with a light coat. See how it's not like super chunky, super thick, nothing crazy. I'm gonna come in with my blow, just get it nice and tacky, and then we're gonna come in with the part that makes it frosting. We're gonna come in with a clear whisper light, and I'm gonna place it one to two millimeters away from my waterline. So if you're familiar with our lockdown method, you're placing the clear whisper light the same place that you would during the lockdown method, but we're gonna do something a little different. So clear whisper light has this, ooh, she's juicy, has this precision tip, which is perfect for this step because I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna try to do it into this camera for us. I can get it in a really precise line. Okay, so see how I've just dabbed it on there. Let me get a little bit more on my brush so you can see. See how it's not on my waterline? It's like one to two millimeters away. If you're unsure how far one to two millimeters is away, just make sure that you're far enough away that you can see the root of your natural lash. Okay, whoo, that just, my contact was getting blurry, but look at that. Okay, so now we have our line of Clear Whisper Light. Next, I'm gonna take, you can take a flat-ended makeup brush, you can take like the back of a spoolie, you can take our, um, shoot, where are my little precision disposables? You can bend them and they become more of a brush and you can use that, but you can use anything as long as you're coming in while it's still white, because it does go from white to clear, and I'm frosting the rest of my lashes by gently brushing it upwards, okay? And because I'm spreading it out, it's like when you make like, like a thing I made Velveeta mac and cheese in those cups, and the cups, those things stay hot forever, but when you put it like out on a plate and spread it out, it gets, you know, cooler faster. I guess that's like the same thing. I wanted that clump of bond out. So see how it's all tacky, or all clear now? I know it's tacky. So it's allowing it to get tacky quicker. That was, I was all tongue twisted on that. Okay, so I can definitely feel that I'm tacky. If I'm not tacky, I can come in with my blow. If I feel like I want a little bit more bond because I missed some lashes, it's okay to come back in and do that whole step all over again. Okay, this is gonna give you such long wear because we're getting all of the bond specifically all over every single lash okay so i did a little less that time because i don't think i needed too much more but i do just want to show you it is okay to repeat these steps okay so we're coming in boop 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 brush 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 
And this whole time I'm just going with a really light hand, okay? You don't wanna start smashing your lash, coming in and smashing the lash, because then look, I just did that right there. I got a little clumpy clump. So we're gonna come in and we're going to use our precision lash comb. Just separate a little bit right there. Okay, so now we are ready to apply. These suckers are tacky. Oh, oh. Okay, let's do this. So I'm gonna come in with a C10. I like to start in my inner corner. You can start in the middle, you can start on the outer corner, inner corner, whatever works for you. I just touch these lashes and they touch together. This precision lash comb, I'm telling you. If you're a perfectionist, like moi, then you're gonna want this precision lash comb. Okay, so C10, I'm gonna come, I like to use my fingers. I'm gonna slide out two right off the bat, pop them on my lash pad, and then we are gonna put these on. So, we recommend looking down into a mirror when applying. I do like to grab my lash all the way across and really high up on the lash, because then my wand doesn't get in the way. If I grab really low on the, wa the lash, if I grab really low on the lash, my wand is gonna hit my natural lash where we've just put all that bond, then my wand's gonna get sticky, then I'm gonna be annoyed. And I'm not trying to be annoyed, it's Monday. I'm trying to start my week out right. Okay, so we're gonna look down into a mirror, and then my goal is to place the spine of that lash. Oh, it's, uh-oh, sticking to my wand. My goal is to place the spine of that lash right where we put that beginning of the clear. So one to two millimeters away from the waterline. Boom, I don't feel it if you feel it. Remember that bond is flexible so you can come in and adjust. Oh, this wand needs to be, she's a little sticky. I like to just take my finger if my wand's really sticky. You can put the wandoms on. I personally don't like to apply with the wandoms on because I can't get as precise. Okay, coming in right next door. See how they just, oh, two on and look how good they look already. See how they just stick? That's how you know that your bond is tacky. If they're not just sticking, you might've used a little too much, totally fine. You're just gonna wait a little bit longer for it to get tacky. So we're gonna come in now, two C12s. This is like one of my favorite beginner maps. So in the control kit, you get 10, 12, and 14 because those are like our average lengths. They're like our middle lengths. We have eights and then we have 16, 18. Some styles have 20, 22. But these are like the middle, so you can really start to see and play around with what lengths you like and what lengths work for you. But guys, look how easy this is. Oh my God, my camera's shaky. So look too, my placement's not totally perfect, but I'm not super worried about it. When you start out, don't overthink it. Don't get overwhelmed. Just come in, watch our videos. Um, remember, the bond is flexible too. So like, if you don't like it, you're just gonna move it around. Lash Fi is meant to be fun. I think people, we have so many products and stuff now and so many bonding techniques and all that. People are like, I don't know where to start. I want to wear them for 15 days right off the bat. Well, that is not the way to start. You wanna start out by just practicing, playing, learning the system. And then once you do that, Things like longevity or, oh, that was a really bad application. Things like longevity application come easier, okay? So we're doing another C12. Oh, it keeps sticking to my wand, see? I, I jinxed myself. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna come in and do that one again. But see how I'm not coming in each time and I'm not getting frustrated. We're just gonna play because it does work and it's not hard. It's just figuring out how you're gonna hold the wand, how you're gonna pick up a lash, practice holding the wand, practice picking up a lash before you even start, okay? Okay, can you hear me? Okay, so Josie, tell me if you can hear me. I don't know what just happened. Okay, we're gonna keep going. So <laughs> that was super weird. It just said that I connected to my AirPods. Okay, we're gonna come in. I'm actually, cause my, oh, not a C10. I'm back, okay. I'm gonna come in because my eyes are a little different shape. I'm gonna do one more 12 and then a 14. On this side, I did two 10s, two 12s, two 14s. So what's gonna happen is you are going to um, start to realize that maybe you have two different eye shapes or maybe you 
like uh, creating an open eye or maybe you like creating a wing lash map. Again, things like that come with practice. Rebecca's asking, how do you recommend sleeping in them? Okay, so I will be totally honest. When I first got them, I was panicked about sleeping in them because I loved them so much. I wanted them, I was somebody who I wanted them to last like 300 days. So I would fall asleep with my glasses on so that I couldn't smush them. But what I recommend, try not, you know, try to not face sleep. Face sleeping when you first start out, probably not the best thing. Um, some people will take off, like some people will lose the corners every time they sleep and they know it, so they just pop them off and then pop them back on in the morning. Um, sleeping with them, just try to stay on your side, on your back. Face sleeping's not gonna be the best thing, I'm gonna be honest, okay. I'm gonna move this one again and look, because that bond is flexible, boom, I can move it. I don't have any of my natural lashes coming out, coming off. Look how easy, so good. Yes, Josie's so right too. Don't sleep in them right away. Um, we recommend wearing them for like a day when you first start out. Wear them, do one layer of on, don't try the frosting method. One layer of on, put them on at night, peel them off, set them to the side, Try them a few times and then you'll start to see, oh, I know how much bond I need. I know about aftercare. Aftercare is super important. You wanna make sure to avoid oil. Okay, look how quick that was. Two C10s, three C12s, and a C14. See how it kind of like evens out my eye shape a little bit? So we're gonna come in, we need to fuse. So right now we have My Natural Lashes. We've only just set the gossamers on top. So some people are like, they don't look like they're gonna stay. They're not. You need to fuse them down so that everything becomes one. So we're gonna come in. I'm going to place the wand. This wand is designed to wrap around the eye. So I'm just gonna fuse down and I wanna make sure my wand closes. Okay, if your wand, say your wand doesn't close, all you need to do, all of these are hand tools, okay? Beautiful hand tools are like collector's items, but they are the foundation of the system. So if you're coming in and your wand's not fusing, hold closer to the tip, okay? So you can do that full fuse. I like to, on my non-dominant side, I usually end up coming in and doing a reverse fuse. And if you are trying out the frosting method for the first time, Try fusing with wandoms on at first, okay? Because it is gonna be real sticky at first until you start to realize how you're gonna, just how you're gonna coat every lash. I have to have a pair of wandoms in front of me. Okay, here's one. One wandom, two wandoms, okay? So the wandoms slide over the tips of the wand. You can come in and this is gonna help if you are super sticky. Hold and fuse with the wandoms. This will help with the stickiness. And then always be sure if my lashes were stuck, I wanna blink them away, okay? So there's that. And then all we need to do is seal. Like I'm telling you guys, it's easy. Don't, be, don't feel overwhelmed. To start out, we have a whole little video. I pop up on the corner of your website that can help walk you through which lash styles you're gonna choose in your control kit, everything that you need, okay? So we are trying to make this as easy as you can. And then we have a Facebook group with over 120,000 people inside of it. And we have an educator, one a actual Lashify employee inside of that group like 24 seven. So even if you go and you're like, okay, I took the quiz, I still don't know, go reach out to our educators. Cause let me tell you, I know them all very, very personally and they would all be happy to spend your money cause they all wanna spend theirs if they're anything like me, but spending yours, we can help you do that. So I'm gonna come in, I'm going to just use my glass and brush it right along the base. So glass is a sealer. This does come in the control kit. And what this does is it gives you a nice seal where it's gonna remove any excess stickiness. It's also going to give you a little bit more of a water resistant seal because it's gonna repel a little bit of moisture oil. So come in with the glass. You can wait 20 minutes or you can seal right away, totally up to you. You're just gonna keep it with like C's or A's. I say keep it just at the base because it is a glossy finish. So when you start coming through and brushing it through, the, those thin fibers might start to stick together. You're not gonna get that soft, soft feel. So you can totally brush it through though. You can go, I say if you brush it through, just go like halfway. Okay, glass doesn't need to be put on every day. You're good to go. So here she is. Let's check out our lash cleavage. So this is our lashes from the top. Look at that. They literally look, oh my God. <laughs> they literally look like they are coming right out of my eye. Boom, I'm obsessed. The curl, yeah. 
so good. Yes, we also have an education support page on our website. You are so right. We literally have it. We have short videos, long videos, live videos, uh, Lash by Life, one-to-one -one contact support. We have everything for you guys. Okay, so this is a look right from our control kit. Click this little link right here. You can get the control kit by clicking this. It's gonna bring you right to that page. Then you're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna get it. You're gonna go join Lash by Life while you wait for it to arrive. You're gonna watch all the videos. You're gonna look at all the guides. You're gonna become friends with all the educators. Then by the time it comes, you're going to be an expert. It's gonna be so easy, okay? So this is our look. We have on this side two C10s, two C12s, two C14s. On this side, we have two C10s, three C12s, and a C14 for a little symmetry, okay? And this uh, is a look that you can create straight from the control kit, so go get yours. We do lives here on our website every day, so if you are watching on Facebook, YouTube, join us over here so we can see you next time. And then we also go live on Instagram on Wednesdays and Fridays, and then you never know when our founder, CEO, Sahara Lottie, will go live and we never know where unless you download our app because in our app we do send out notifications to tell you when and where she will be going live. So download our app, join Lash by Life, check out our education page, buy a control kit, send us a DM, tell us how much you love it. Okay, I hope you guys have a great Monday, a great Juneteenth. Happy start.